Okay, everybody's been raving about the new effect of Apple where they've got that liquid class and today I'm going to show you how to create that in Rive. So I've got everybody's favorite logo here on the screen. You can use any logo or object that you want. Uh, this is the vector method. I'm going to show you the vector method and after that I'm going to show you how to do it with bitmaps as well because it's slightly different. So the first thing I've got here, I've got this one that says base. So I'm going to duplicate the base and then I'm going to call this one refraction. So what is refraction? Refraction is basically, it's the bending of light or any wave as it passes from one medium to another with a different density or optical property. Like if you go from air into water or glass into air, basically it distorts the object. If it's behind or inside a liquid or in glass. So we're going to take our refraction and let's just take our base and hide it here. Then we're going to take our refraction and we're going to make it bigger because it distorts it so it makes it a bit bigger. So let's make it uh, maybe 105. And then I'm just going to select both of these and just center them. Center them horizontally and vertically. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the refraction and I'm just going to feather both of them just this is going to be like the sort of frosted effect okay and then now i can bring this space back and then the next thing i'm going to create is our glass object so i'm just going to press r for a rectangle and then just give it some corners and then maybe just center this one as well and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rectangle and put it sort of between the, the two sort of sandwiches between the refraction and the base shapes. And then I'm just going to make this one black because it's, it's a, uh, because it's glass, it's going to be the same color as the background. Um, and then what I need to do is now I need to take the refraction. So select the refraction and say clip and clip this to the rectangle. And now you can almost immediately see the type of effect that we're going to go for. Now we just need to style our little object here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press plus and create a new fill. I'm going to go in here and make sure, okay, it should be linear. The bottom one should be black and then the top one we want that one to be white. So I'm bringing that up and then just making sure that it's 100%, the opacity is 100%. And now I'm just going to bring the white at the top and the black at the bottom. So it looks something like this. So this almost simulates a type of matte cap feel, if you want to call it that. And then now we just need to change the blending mode. So I'm just going to go here and where it says blend, inherit, I'm just going to make it a soft light. Okay, so that's that. Now we need to add two more things. We need to add a rim light. So go to our object, go to our object fill, make sure it's a solid and make it, make it white. And then just select the feathering. And then here where it says direction, make it inner. And then make it to bring the amount down to maybe three. And then we get something like this. And now for the last touch, just going to go, go to the bottom one. And then just, all you can do now is just duplicate this guy here. And feather it. This is going to be our drop shadow. We're going to have two drop shadows. We're going to have an ambient drop shadow and a more tighter one. So this one I'm going to bring up to maybe like 23 or something like that. We can maybe even bring down the opacity if you want to. So it's a bit more subtle. And then we're going to copy this one again. And then feather it again. And then just for the feathering here, we're just going to go here and make sure that this feathering is much more tighter so we want something like two or three and then here you can see basically this is our effect so if i scroll 
If I move it, you can see it, and obviously now you can animate it, and you can do with it whatever, whatever you want, and it's pretty cool. You can even, um, it's like I said, it's procedural, so you can change the color. So these two bottom ones are our drop shadows, and then this is our main color, the, the one in the middle here. So if, if I want to change this, like say, to a dark blue, I can do that, and then you can see what that looks like. And that's also it's looking really cool. So this is the method to do it with a vector shape. And obviously, you can have text and whatever you want underneath here. If you want to have more than one shape, you're gonna to have to create the refraction layer for every shape then obviously, because they mask, the refraction is masked inside of the base shape. And that is how you do that. So let me show you next how to do it with the bitmap image. It's a, a, slightly a bit more complicated, but it's also not, not as complicated as you think. Okay, I've got the uh, Apple home screen here that I downloaded from the internet. And um, basically what I did, is I've got two copies of it. I've got this, this is our main copy. So let's just call this one main copy or main screen. And then on top of that, I've got another one that is called blur. So I basically just took this in Photoshop and just added a uh, Gaussian blur so that you can just add any take any uh, bitmap editing program and just add a bit of a Gaussian blur to this one. And then now we do the same here. We're going to make it 105. So this is also going to be our refraction. So let's maybe just call this one refraction. And then we just need to select both of them and just make sure that they are centered. Okay, so let's create our shape. So I'm just going to press R again for a rectangle and just give it some corners. And then same process, sandwich this one between the two. And then take the refraction and clip it and clip it to the rectangle. And now if you look here, you would, you'll see the basic effect. But the problem is if I add um, effects on top of this, you're not going to see it. So what I need to do is I need to duplicate the rectangle, put this new rectangle on top, and then we need to get this rectangle to follow the bottom rectangle because that's going to be our base. So all we're going to do is we're going to go to constraints, add a translation constraint, and yeah, the target you select the bottom rectangle. So let's just call this our main rectangle and this top rectangle is going to be now where we style everything so i'm just gonna for this one i'm just going to delete the fill i'm going to add a new fill and this is going to be our fill for the sort of um what, what do you call that uh, almost like the matte cap effect if you want to call it that so same process is lost. So basically we just go here and then make it white and then just bring it up and just bring these handles. So the white is at the top and the black is at the bottom, just like that. And then now the same process we go here to so blending mode and we make it soft light. And now immediately you can see there's a bit of volume to this glass. And then the next thing we do is we take the same rectangle and we add another fill. And this one, we're just going to make it solid. And this is now going to be our rim light. And we make it solid, make it a white, and then feather it. And then from outer to inner, and then maybe just make this one, let's make this one a bit softer, maybe about 12. 12 should be fine. And then if I move the main rectangle, you can see that the rest moves with it. So the only, the last touch I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go to the main rectangle and I'm gonna add another fill, another stroke, a fill. I'm gonna put it here at the bottom 
and I'm just going to make it solid and make it black. This is going to be our drop shadow. And then this is going to be more like an ambient one. So I'll bring it up, make it maybe 40 and bring it maybe to 60%. And then I'm just going to add another fill. Make it solid again. Make it black again. And this one's going to be another drop shadow. It's going to be the tighter tighter one. So this one I can maybe make it like seven or eight. And then if I use the main rectangle to move that, we get something like this, which is very cool. I'm sure you agree. And then like, like the same, we can change the color. If you want to change this one's color, you just need to go to the top one and then maybe just add a fill, make it solid. Uh, put it, put this fill at the bottom of the stack, that's important. And maybe just, let's make this one red. And then just change the blending mode, uh, um, or bring the opacity down to maybe 20. And then we've got a sort of reddish hue on this. And then if you want to animate it, you can just animate the main rectangle. Um, if you want to play with the scale, you can just go to the rectangle 2, add a scale constraint, and select main rectangle. And now if I play with the scale, you can see it works with everything. Same with rotation, you can put the... Um, can put a rotation constraint on as well and that's basically in a nutshell how we can create this cool effect in Rive very quickly.